Okay, let's take you on a guided tour of the project. Here, there was a Bilco door. As you can see, the incline there. Customer wanted to remove the Bilco door. And she wanted to put a door down there. Now, I said I thought it was a bad idea. Even though this is covered, let's say we get a big blizzard or heavy rain or, or something. Without the Bilco, you could get flooding down there. So, I came up with the idea. Rip off the siding. And build an actual entrance. We will finish this, put siding on it, make it look like an entrance. Period. <clears throat> I'm so used to using voice text that I end up saying period when I'm recording video. <laughs> okay, so there will be a door here instead of down there. This way, rain and everything will be out here. All right, this in here will all be sheetrocked. These walls will be sheetrocked. We're walking into what will become the laundry room. As you can see, I furred out the walls all the electrics hanging. We redid all the electric in this basement. There's going to be a sink in this corner. As you can see, there's plumbing. I need to finish this plumbing because we're going to have a washing machine in this corner. So you'll have dryer, washing machine, and sink. And that's a crawl space which really isn't that important here. Now this door is going to be removed and have a better door put up because what's behind here will become an apartment. Wow, look at that mess on the floor, man. Someone should tell that kill switch guy to clean up. So what we did, obviously, framed out the walls, you can see there's a HVAC trunk here, which will be closed in. Now, if you look, obviously wires. But right here in the middle is a separation. As you can see, it goes right into the other room. So, if you come in from the laundry side, you will have, this will be the bedroom. The sink and all my tools will be gone. Then back here will be the closet. See, nice little area. Then I guess once you avoid the soffit, you can put a dresser in this corner, TV over there. Yes, and one thing I hate about basements is low ceilings. This one's only 76 inches. We were actually going to put a drop ceiling but instead, I moved all the plumbing up into the ceiling so that you can get as much height as possible. I'm tired of ducking in here. Now, once we come through the entrance, this will be the kitchen. This corner where you see the garbage bag now will be a fridge. Now, if you look over here, this area was pretty much unbuildable concrete it slopes upward there were leaks you can see all that I fixed all the leaks and we built this platform so the cabinets can sit on top of it and use this space and then over here in this corner will be the stove but once I walk back out of the room you'll see it'll be a much bigger space instead of having the cabinets sit pretty much where that wood is. There's a platform. The wood's there. Now if you look, that last tile is where the wall is. You would have a really small area. So let me step back. Hang. 
This right here would be the doorway. So you'll come in, you'll have your cabinets and sink on this side. Your fridge will be over here, your stove back there. But now you'll actually have room to move around. It's a small space, maybe a college kid or something. And as you can see, we have wires we need to throw into the box. Also, back here, this is a bathroom. We partially tore it out already. There, yeah, getting better lighting. Yay, toilet. That's about all that's in here now. There was a sink, there was a shower. We tore it out. This is in bad shape, so I'm going to make sure this is sealed, not leaking, and put in a shower. What else did we do in here? Ah, yes, I told you we redid all the plumbing. As you can see, there's pecs in here. They had giant copper lines going all the way back to the wall, but I cut them back and put in pecs. This way, when we get over here, all of them are run into the ceiling. So this way, we can sheetrock right up to the ceiling and don't have to worry about a drop. See, so everything, all the plumbing is running through the ceiling instead of under it. That's where it was before. All the plumbing was running under the ceiling. Oh, and as you can see, recess lights are going in. Man, I wish this basement was taller so I can actually stand up without bending down all the time. I'm somewhere around 6'2", and this ceiling's about 6'4" at the most so yeah not easy so this will all become living area floor will be tiled but then this person has kitchen bedroom so basically an efficiency and then this door will have a lock on it and they can walk right out into the laundry room and do what they have to do or they can go up the steps on the other side of all the mechanicals. So, yeah, this basement started with nothing. We're about two weeks in, looking much better now. All right, well, since my allergies are bothering me and you don't need to hear my voice anymore, this is Kill Switch, and I'm signing out.